All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yamashai, Ba'ashim Haraka Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, preaching this word and also laboring in this word in truth, love, and sincerity. And may blessings fall upon the houses out of one third. And um, I'm just doing a quick transit this morning through the spirit. Um, as I seen uh, this storyline come over my live feed on one of my social media sites, I thought, yay, you know, let me take a look into this. And um, this is from the uh, Coachella, right? I guess this is like a little uh, a concert tour type of ordeal, you know. But the thing I wanted to harp on is read the title. Okay. Do you see what the title says? And this is from the New York Post.com. And it says herpes reports skyrocketed around Coachella. You see? Herpes skyrocketed around Coachella. Now, notice this. We just passed up this weekend, we just passed up the worship um, of Ishtar. Okay. Which Ishtar is the fertility goddess all right and then when you look up look up and look up ishtar right she was a, a a babylonian deity you see which in modern day worship of that now is easter okay and then on top of that you know uh hey, if you look up her sculpture right uh she has eggs uh, around her body you know from our uh from our legs you know to her chest you see, and what do they use for Easter? They use a uh, uh, rabbits or bunnies. Okay, and they say that they lay eggs, which you know that's not true. You know, but uh, we all know that goes back to uh, the, the 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 deity, the goddess of Ishtar. But you know, the point I want wanted to make is uh, they use rabbits. Why? Because rabbits have a lot of sex. So. During this Coachella, right? And, and remember, the time frame around this is what? Uh, 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 the worship of Ishtar. Meaning what? To have a lot of sex. And, you know, for herpes to arise, what had to take place? A lot of sex. Okay? A lot of sex. And guess what? We know a lot of these instances was what? Women committing adultery and men committing adultery. And other lewd and unlawful sexual acts was going on here. Come on, man. We already know that was taking place. You see? A lot of vile and disgusting sexual play going on. You see? And this is what occurred. Okay? This is the outcome. Herpes reports skyrocketed around Coachella. You see? So what they're saying is, uh, after this uh, took place, that a lot of people end up going to their local hospitals or clinics reporting you know uh, of them having symptoms or even um you know uh, being diagnosed with herpes you see hey, and that's just a judgment by Yahweh by some Yahweh Shai for you people you see because we know more than likely y'all was worshiping uh, 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 the fake so called holiday that they was given that was given to you known as Easter which goes back to the what the, uh, the god the fertility goddess Ishtar you see? And this is a lot of y'all's judgment for that. Okay, amongst uh, many other reasons. So let's get into this article. Right? It says, uh, Coachella festival goers went home last weekend, presumably with fa fa with farmer tans, fond memories, in some cases, herpes. Herp alert. A website where users can send NSFW images for clinical evaluation and receive prescription treatment for the incurable STD in just a couple hours, tells the Post. They saw an influx of cases in Indio, California, during the last month. Right, and um, let me throw this out there too. Okay, uh, these these diseases, you know, around the earth, all these diseases can be cured. Okay, but Esau Edom, the so-called white man, he doesn't want to uh, cure the diseases. Right, all these different health problems that people got around the earth, hey, they all can be cured. Okay. With, uh, with different type of plants or medicines that the Lord have created out the earth. You see? But Esau is not going to tell you that because he wants to kill you people off. And starting with, starting with you Israelites, 
first and foremost. As a matter of fact, let's um let's get that scripture to back up back up what I just said. Uh, it's the book of Sirach. Okay, because everything is in the scriptures. All right. It's the book of Sirach, 38, verse 4. It says, The Lord have created. Um, let's start at one. It says, Honor a physician with the honor due to, to due unto him for the uses which you have of him, for the Lord have created him. For of the most high cometh healing, and he shall receive honor of the king. The skill of the physician shall lift up his head, and in the sight of great men he shall shall be in admiration. The Lord have created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. See, so the Lord have created medicines out of the earth. Okay? To cure everything. You know, but the ultimate healer goes back to Yahweh. Okay, if he wants to heal you or not. You see, so I just wanted to make that uh, uh bring that out for us when it says uh, for the incurable STD, okay? Because Yahweh Shemashah have all the cures. You see, um, and and what our people need cured by, what our people need restored by, is the word, okay? This is what can cure you. You see, but our people reject the word of Yahweh Shemashah. So let's continue on. It says, normally the sight doles out some 12, diagno 12 diagnosis, uh, diagnos diagnosis per day. But between April 12th and April 21st, spanning the two weekends of Coachella, they counted up to 250 herpy cases per day. You see, it went from 12 per day to 250. You see? Hey, that's a vile thing, man. You know, hey, in today's society, right? And this was a, actually a starting a week before Ishtar weekend, you see? But it led up to it, okay? When everybody was in that spirit, um, you know? But, uh, hey, man, in this society, you know, freakism is allowed, okay? Wickedness, adultery, hey, that's promoted and lifted on high, you see? And in and, and doing so, people uh, glorify it. Okay, that's why it's all in your music and your rap videos and your, your TV shows, all of it. Okay, adultery, uh, homosexuality, lesbianism, you see? Hey, transgenderism, all that being pushed. Okay, and y these wicked vow acts, what happens? Things like this. See, all these different cases of herpes, you know? And we know a lot of people went home uh, to their sexual partner or made a phone call to their sexual partner, maybe not. Right? Stating that, look, man, you know, I, I messed up and now I have herpes. See, but the way people are today, man, they don't even got the morals and dignity to do dignity to do that. You know, they just give it to their partner. You see? Hey, but the point is, it just shows you, man, it doubled. You see? Leading up to the Ishtar weekend, the fertility goddess, the goddess of sex. You see? And I just find it real, uh, you know... I just, you know, when I thought about it, I'm like, you know, that's crazy because, you know, uh, it was all, it was a week before leading up to uh, 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 the worship of sex, basically. And look what happened through the acts, the act of sex, 250 herbie cases per day, you know, leading up until that, until that time, right? It says that's about... A, a, 1105 total infections in the towns surrounding the festival grounds indio palm desert and coachella valley as well as nearby los angeles san diego and orange where many of the fest fans reside this year's coachella topped herp herp alerts previous record set during oscars weekend when they saw 60 cases in one day it's hard to say why the Academy Awards would produce a herpes spike, but Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga's steam, steaming performance might have had something to do with it. So, you know, these people was drunk, okay? These people was on all sorts of drugs, okay? Having orgies and sex parties and things like that, you see? Uh, women getting trains ran on them. Men uh, doing vow acts with other men. You see, spreading it all around, having, having uh, a group uh, uh, wicked sex functions, you see, helping spread the, the vow infection, you see, as herpes. All right, and you see, this is what you have happened when you have wickedness reigning all throughout the earth, man. 
Okay? Complete madness. So I'm gonna get a, a scripture, right? Uh let's go to the let's go to the a book of Isaiah 60, verse 2. It says, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And that's right, okay? Uh, gross darkness have covered the earth. And what did it also did it cover? The people. You see? Now let's go into that word, um, not this one, right? Uh, darkness. And the, and the, uh, the first one. It says, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. Now we're going to the Greek. That word is koshek. It says, uh, darkness, obscurity, darkness, secret place. Dark, hence literally darkness, figuratively misery, destruction, death, ignorance, uh, sorrow, and wickedness. You see? Now, when you look at those words, when you read this uh, storyline, all this can tie in with that. You find out you got herpes, what comes? Misery. You see? Eventually, you know, if you don't take care of it right away, death. You see? And I don't, I don't even want to put the word ignorance, you know, because um, ignorant, uh, the word ignorant means to not know. And you people know know damn well you shouldn't be having all these different sex partners, man. Especially you women, man. Okay? If you already belong to a man, seeing you sleeping around, that's adultery. You see? You you men sleeping with other men's women and you knowing that, that's adultery. That's wicked. You see? Lord could put you to death for that. Right? Sorrow. Right? Sorrow comes from that when you find out, you know, that you got herpes, man. You see that you plagued with herpes. Wickedness. Darkness. You see? So the earth is covered in complete wickedness and darkness. And who's pushing out that madness and that vibration of that? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. You see? The Edomites. And guess who cleaves to this 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 madness and to this darkness, this, this whole wave of darkness? Because that's what's going throughout the earth, the wave of darkness. Jake, man. Jake, Jake sucks it right up. You see? Because Jake loved darkness, man. You see? Our, our people, and, and not even just our people, the whole world, they love darkness rather than light. You see? Let's see if I can get that. Um, darkness. Oh, here we go. John 3. Let's see if I can start up 5. Yep, John 3 verse 19, it says, And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. You see? People love darkness darkness people engage in darkness you see to the point where they think doing things uh wickedly you know doing things evil uh, uh, uh you know things that's uh, against the holy scriptures you know they think that's that's the right way they think that's they think that and look at that as as if that's the norm now you see committing adultery is norm normal you see ain't nothing wrong with it as they say Right? Women whoring around, sleeping with all these different men. That's normal. In this society, in this world today, that's normal. Or or it is it's it's uh 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 you know uh right, yeah, it, it, it's set uh, as being normal. Okay, that's not normal, man. That's wicked, man, that's off. You see? These these women uh, by the time they hit the age of 15, 16, man, they've been had already uh, so defiled, man, they're used and washed up, used and abused. You see? But, hey, these people love darkness rather than light, man. So that's why when we come with the scriptures, we come to the word, they don't want to hear that, man. You know? They, they be, These people are scattered like roaches. You see why? Because their deeds were evil. These people's deeds are evil, and they be knowing their deeds be evil. You see? But they don't care. All right? They don't care that their deeds is evil. They don't care that they continue to transgress uh, the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. 
Why? Because Esau Edom told them that there was no consequences. Hey, but you're wrong. You see, we tell you that there's consequences of your actions of what you're doing. And pertaining to that article, right? Uh, a lot of y'all's consequences for committing adultery and committing wild, uh, a vow and wicked, uh, filthy acts was what? Being judged and being plagued with what? Herpes. You see? That's judgment from y'all by Shinyan Washad, man. And that's a beautiful thing because a lot of y'all are wicked as hell, man. You see? And a lot of y'all turn y'all air away from the Lord and want to continue on y'all wickedness. But guess what? This is the result. This is the result of, of, of a wicked ruler, you know, uh, 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 letting a, a place be ruled uh, without a, the, the, the right, correct order, which is the Holy Scriptures, man. And this is just a light thing I'm speaking on, you know? This is just a light thing, you know, but I thought I put my two cents on it. OK, um, but yeah, you know, hey, you, you Israelites here, Israelites out there. Y'all hear this video, you know, hey, y'all need to turn back into your high boss. You have a shot, man. Hey, return back sliding daughter. You see you men, you need to get right. You women, you need to get right. OK, or y'all going to get destroyed. With that. You know, until next time, I would like to say Shalom.